Okay, so this is a question that we really should have addressed two weeks ago. Uh, but Tempers, I know what it is. <laughs> Tempers Flair 2006 asks, thoughts on the Mandy Rose situation with WWE? Wow. My main thought is I feel like if they were – if WWE was making a profit off of that website, they would let her keep it. But it's become a, a content discussion. The right. content is adult. The content is inappropriate. We're a PG company. Um, I don't know if I buy into that. I also read that it was A-Train. Is that, is that his name? A-Train? Uh, Matt Bloom. Matt Bloom, who stooged it off to Shawn Michaels. Right. So um, was there some heat between Matt and Mandy at one point? Was there any connection between the two? Um, you have to wonder. I mean, it would have probably came out anyway down the line. But for somebody to run and stooge that off and get somebody fired over it, that makes me think like, hey. Is there something that we don't know behind the scenes that happened? I don't know. But I feel like anything that they cannot make a dime off of, they are going to put the kibosh on. Now, should she have been fired? I don't think she should have been fired. I think she should have maybe got a warning and said, you have to take this down you know, get this or, or make the content. If it's all about the content, don't do this content anymore. Make it PG, do bikini, do lingerie, what we do on the channel basically, or what we do in our magazine, or do they even still have the magazine out? I don't even no, know. No, they don't. Nope, okay. Don't have that well, you know, they're all about, you know, promoting women with the bikinis and, and bathing suits and whatever the photo shoots that they did. Um, why wouldn't they just give her a warning why did they have to fire her? I don't agree yeah. with that. There, there's people on the roster that have continuously taken drugs, um, you know, have been charged with multiple DUIs, been charged with murder, yet they haven't been fired. But this girl is making a side hustle. Granted, I mean, okay, it doesn't suit what WWE stands for. So you tell her, don't do it anymore. And give her the, the option, okay, do I stay and get rid of this or do I quit? So right. she got fired. And guess what? She made half a million dollars since Isn't that unbelievable? Year. Good for her. Good for her. I can't do stuff like that. For me, like I, I just can't do that kind of content. I don't throw stones at the women who do. Make your money. Get it. You know, that just goes to show you, you don't need WWE to make a living. And she's not killing herself. She's not taking bumps. Now, is she going to come back to wrestling? Maybe. AEW would be crazy not to try and grab her. Because when you work for AEW, you can do whatever you want. Right. Pretty much. You know? So maybe we'll see her down the line. Um, she was way over from what I hear in NXT. So to just get rid of her like that makes me feel like there is a hidden agenda. There's something else going on. And I can't put my finger on it because I don't know anybody to ask them. Yeah, no, there's a, you got to believe there's something that led to this or, yeah, backstage heat between something. somebody. Because she something. was what you would, I guess, classify in that prototypical Vince McMahon pushed superstar when she came to the main roster. And Vince put her in like a glamorous, provocative, suggestive gimmick. But they scrapped all that, sent her to NXT, and she like reestablished this wrestling side of her career. And she was super over. Yeah. But you know what else is super over? Boobs <laughs> are super over. So yeah. the fans <laughs> will pay for boobs if they yeah. are offered. Right. And from what I understand, the content she's doing is more along the lines of like soft, maybe the Playboy style of, of photographs. Nothing that you can't just go on your Google search and find, but uh, they had to have just had some kind of either. I don't know. Maybe they have a morals clause we don't know about. Maybe they have some sort of content restrictive clause that not being spoken of. But, you know, the, the two that are being talked about are the Matt Riddle. Uh, maybe I'll 
the riddle name because I don't want anybody commenting on any again <laughs> any any things that we put because it's not saying anything positive nor negative about Matt Riddle, but also Paige. Paige not only had six videos leaked, but she had videos leaked of the NXT Championship being a gentleman. Oh, and she kept her job. I, I didn't never know saw that. that. What? No. There's, there's three videos that came out with her. It was the one with the, the three-way dance. Yeah, I saw that one. Then it was her preparing for the three-way dance with a, a in her. No. Never and saw then that. It was the, yeah, it was on the NXT title. Who did that? I don't know who did. That. She sure took it with the championship right under her face. <laughs> well, there. I think the difference is they were, that was done in privacy. And they, Mandy's correct. making money off of these. Photos. Right, right. But th yes, that, so that, that's, but that's correct. Why she, but that's still, why she didn't get fired. Because they were, there's a difference. Right. No, I understand that, but what people are using as examples are those two things, and that you know she was maybe maybe they could have come to an agreement of you know hey WWE I get to do this if you let me do that and it, they just I, fired her. I just feel like they was there ever a conversation like you know do you know you're not supposed to be doing this on the side, and if so take it down or else you lose your job. A warning should have been issued. That's how I, I that's what I think. Yes, now, I agree with that. If they told her several times, like, we know you have a site, take it down. And she says, no, I'm not going to take it down. Then you get fired. I get it. But if she wasn't issued a warning and they just fired her on the spot. No, I think that's wrong. A hundred percent. But good for her for making her money and making more. I don't think she made five, five, a uh, hundred thousand dollars there in a year. She made that in a week. It's crazy. In a week. That's that's a ridiculous amount of money. I said to my husband, why do I have morals? I could be the, the MILF that does this kind of stuff. You know you, what you I mean? Could, but I, yes. But I can't. I can't do it. And I won't do it. But, but you know, that doesn't mean that she can't do it. And good for her. So, yeah, I, I just feel like it it wasn't fair. I don't think it was fair. But there might be something we're missing. So yes. I think there's, there's got to be a warning extra, we're missing. There's an extra piece to the puzzle that we do not have. So it's hard to comment. And it was public. It's not like they didn't know. People were always tweeting stuff about she's got it was not only fans. It was called Fan Room. And it's an alternative only fan style site. And, you know, I, I had mentioned on I think on a live show she was rating picks or something for a certain amount of money. Yeah, that was out there. That. Tammy did that. I watched Tammy do it. <laughs> but they were out. That was out there. That wasn't a hidden thing. So I guess something there has to have been a warning that wasn't disclosed to the public. Yeah. Because they would not just irrationally fire somebody just like that. And, you I know, I think that I think the little wrinkle to the story that makes it more uh, entertaining is that Matt Bloom found it and brought it to Shawn Michaels and Shawn Michaels brought it to like that. That's the wrinkle like that. How do we know that? Or why do we know that? It's I don't know. That's, that's <laughs> what I read. And I was just like, okay, where's the heat? There's, there's some kind of heat going on or there, there's just something that we're not privy to. So, but again, you know, good for her for not having the bump and for making a half a million dollars. There's your, those you. are your words, words to live by one to grow on. I mean, <laughs> Yeah. You can't hate. You can't hate on her. It's it's brilliant. If you're if you're comfortable with doing that kind of content, what's the problem? Yeah, I, I completely agree with you. So oh. there you go. So we were supposed to talk about it two weeks ago. We've both forgotten.